now going to begin public comment. So I'd like to thank our guests in the audience and welcome you, and again, thank you for your interest in the University of California and for taking the time to be here today. The regents appreciate your observations and comments. I'm an MRI technologist. I work with people every day. Many of these people are dying. I see kids, I see infants born with cancer. And these parents who have these kids are scared and they're afraid. And because I have to do the ancillary job, people's job now, like uh, stocking and getting the tables ready and cleaning, I don't have the time to put with these people who deserve that. UC San Francisco has been proudly in the top 10 on the US News and World Report uh, of the most respected hospitals in the nation. We've dropped out of that top 10 list. We're down from 6 to 13. Out of 120 therapists, there's 40 temporary workers who are brand new grants who come in and have had multiple, multiple incident reports written against them because of harm to patients. What will it take for you guys to give a shit? Will it take someone dying? Money, and when you get sued, then you care? The new C is losing $10 million a year through risky derivative swaps, which Charlie just spoke about, made worse by illegal market manipulation by Wall Street banks. By failing to renegotiate the swaps and pursue legal options against the banks that broke the law, the UC is leaving up to $200 million on the table. Rather than take any action at all about that interest rate swap issue. This body essentially let Peter Taylor come before you and say a straw man argument. An independent actuarial analysis has concluded that UC could be saving up to $1 billion in costs over the next four years if they simply use the same methodology that every other major pension system in the country uses. The main recommendation of the report that was made is that UC should look into renegotiation and litigation against the banks that hold our interest rate swaps. Is CEO Lorette's continued multi-hundred thousand dollar bonuses on top of a 1.1 million dollar salary worth it? This is something that the city of San Francisco San Francisco Art Museum did with leadership from two of your members, uh, Regent Schilling and Regent Newsom, and saved $40 million on it. The $167 million to top management uh, is just shameful. They already make over $200,000. The reason we have the losses is because Wall Street banks have manipulated interest rates illegally. Both of the owners of our interest rate swaps, Bank of America and Deutsche Bank, are under federal investigation, and Deutsche Bank has, has already admitted complicity in this illegal interest rate manipulation. And the whole Prop 30 mess, your first reaction is to raise student fees after the state of California trusted you to do the right thing? What is wrong with you? And why wouldn't Peter Taylor even provide an answer to the Thank question? Next I think I'm going to finish this Mr. question. Here. Would folks Mr. like to hear Mr. me finish Martin my here. question? Yeah. So I think I'm going to finish my question. And my question is, why didn't Peter Taylor even answer the question of why UC has not considered renegotiation or litigation? We deserve an answer, and this region's body needs to act because hundreds of millions of dollars are going to Wall Street profits while students are on the hook for tuition hikes and cuts. And we're going to go on the offensive. We're going to demand a rollback, not keeping the fees at where they are, but a rollback of the tuition hikes to 2009. Democrats now have a super majority in both houses, and they have no excuse. They can vote in February for t taxing the rich, and we're not going to accept no for an answer from them or from you. Education must 
be free, no cuts, no fees. Education must be free, no cuts, no fees. Education must be free, no cuts, no fees. Education must be free, no cuts, no fees. Education.